Republican Representative Blake Farenthold went on Chris Hayes' show on MSNBC, and he said something that's unbelievable, even by the standards of this wild election. Until he does something you know, uh, so bad I'm, to make him worse than Hillary, I'm still so, in. Okay, so that's so. Why did they? Why did they withdraw his support? It seems to be they withdrew his support because he was caught on tape bragging about serial sexual assault. Uh, that is that was not enough for you to withdraw your support, but you do recognize that that's what he was doing, correct? No, I, I think this was a, a locker room talk that locker happened uh, ten year ten years ago that he's uh, apologized for. It was a private conversation that was off the record. That just happened if to be off the record. Tape. Said if someone off the record in a locker room, this was not in the locker room. It was a workplace. Said I really like raping women. Would that be locker room talk? Again, it depends. You, you don't know the entire context. But of you would all be fine with that. I'm not here if to a tape came Donald out, Trump. I, I, I don't. I don't like what he said. If a tape came but, out with uh, Donald, Donald Trump, Trump saying that, himself on that. If a tape came out with Donald Trump saying that, saying I really like to rape women, you would continue to endorse him. I, again, it would. I, I. That would be bad, and I would have to consider. I'd, I'd consider it. But again, we're talking about what Donald Trump said ten years ago. Oh, dude, what have you done? <laughs> what have you done? You know, somebody is an admitted rapist, and, and he says on tape, I like to rape women. Uh, would you unendorse? Well, mm, eh, it would be, like, bad. And I would have to, like, consider it. Take it under advisement. <laughs> uh, uh, stop, uh, stop. <laughs> so, obviously, after this... <laughs> The world lit on fire, and then he rushes onto Twitter. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that rapists are. Oh, I might endorse a rapist. Blah 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 blah. It's like, oh God, sweet Jesus, look at what look at what we've come to in this country. This election is so crazy that we have rape apologists who can just say whatever the fuck they want on TV. Okay, now again, to be fair to him, later on he apologized, but that shows you like the only acceptable answer in that situation is, of course, I would unendorse him. He's a rapist. <laughs> But no, but no, he couldn't bring himself to do it because everybody's, oh, I'm playing for a team, team red, team blue, yay, stop, why does everybody have to be a silly person? Stop being a silly person, go evaluate based off the issues. Now, so, it, this is unbelievably stupid, and that's cretinous, and all these horrible things. I am amazed, though, still, to this day, and perhaps it's because I'm naive politically, but, so, that... Everybody's on the same page. What the fuck did you just say, son? You just said it'd be maybe you would still endorse somebody who is an admitted rapist? What the fuck are you saying? So that everybody agrees. Terrible, horrible, worst thing in the world. And I'm with you, of course. Why wasn't that also the case when Donald Trump said, quote, we have to take out their families. We have to take out their families. Remember, he said that on Fo uh, Fox and Friends. While talking about terrorists, he's talking about ISIS, and then they ask him about civilian casualties, and he says, no, no, I am going to target them on purpose. We have to take out their families, we have to take out their families. He repeated it three times. Like, the point should be to kill civilians in the Middle East. So, on the hierarchy here, supporting a rapist, everybody agrees, worst possible thing imaginable. Supporting a terrorist... Debatable. <laughs> Debatable. People on the right, there was a fucking whimper in the news media. I'm not even sure that got a lot of coverage on CNN and MSNBC. They're too busy talking about, oh, he uses naughty words and I don't like that. It's really bad. Meanwhile, the dude said, yeah, I, I murder. I like murder. Let's take out the families. Let's fucking be terrorists. Let's declare the United States is an official terrorist nation by saying the whole point is to target civilians. Not collateral damage, not whoops, we tried to get a Taliban guy and 12 civilians were in the area, but no, the whole point, I'm going to aim at civilians and kill them. <laughs> Barely a fucking whimper. <laughs> Barely a whimper in the media. So, rapist, unacceptable, terrorist, 50-50. 50-50. Torture, that's another thing, just so casual. Yeah, I'm gonna bring back waterboarding, I'm gonna bring back worse than waterboarding, and guess what? I'm gonna torture, quote, even if it doesn't work. And I'm gonna pull out of the Geneva Conventions, so I'm just a sadistic motherfucker who I'm torturing for the sake of torturing, because I like torturing, not even because I'm trying to get information. I just said, even if it doesn't work, I'm gonna torture. Everybody in the media... <laughs> the guy is single-handedly destroying what's supposed to be American values, and there was no, no, no scandal to be found. But then somebody made a good point to me on Twitter. I don't remember who it was, but uh, they said, really, you don't get the difference? The difference is simple. 
when Donald Trump was talking about sexually assaulting women, I don't even ask. I don't ask for permission. No, I just do it. Sometimes I grab him by the pussy. I start kissing him. Sometimes I just start kissing him. It's like a magnet. When he was doing that, who was he talking about? He's talking about white women. When you talk about taking out their families, whose families are you talking about? You're talking about ISIS families. So people go, ah, guilty enough. Kill the family of the terrorist. The family's got nothing to do with it, right? Should we go drone Dylan Roof's mom's house? It's fucking crazy. Of course not. Why would it be different for, uh, you know, a terrorist in the Middle East? Because they don't view that. That's not. They don't view them as human. They view it as less than that. So it's brown people in a Middle Eastern country. They don't even fucking speak the language. Ah, what are you gonna do? You fucking you kill them and you kill them. It is what it is. It's debatable. That's the view. So when it was a scandal involving. Brown people in the Middle East, scandal involving torturing suspected terrorists, suspected. Again, we know a lot of the people at Guantanamo were, of course, not guilty. That's been proven. Suspected? Close enough. Close enough. When it's white women, sexual assault, oh, the world's over. This is a fucking crazy. Oh, my God, this is insane. <laughs> Why can't we go back to being reasonable like talking about killing innocent brown people in the Middle East? No, they're both horrific and disastrous and disgusting. It's weird how some things blow up and some things don't blow up. But I would like to see the same outrage mustered up over this comment, which it's right, it, believe me, I, I agree, this is rightful anger, believe me. It, but that should also be the case for when he says, let's kill civilians, let's torture, and all that stuff. Unfortunately, our outrage meter is a little broken, and it's super obvious to me. 